A Sacramento City College professor was just awarded the Sundance Film Fellowship with the idea of telling stories about underrepresented groups like the trans Latinx community in a movie. KCR3's Leticia Ordaz is working from home this morning with more on the film project hoping to break barriers. Good morning. Hey, Andrew, good morning. This entire Sundance film will be shot throughout the streets of Sacramento. The goal is to erase hate and to make sure that more people feel welcome in this world. This is all the work of Sacramento City professor Roberto Chacon Gutierrez, and they are very excited about this fellowship. And they have worked on a few other films like the one you're seeing on your screen. The upcoming Sundance film will feature college students, both on camera and behind the scenes. The short film centers on underrepresented voices. The sci-fi drama is about a gender fluid Latinx healer who loses their magic and decides to upload their human consciousness to the internet in an outer body experience. It is called Do Digital Curanderas Use Eggs in Their Limpias? Chacon Gutierrez, an indigenous American story Teller, hopes this project inspires youth in the capital city. It's been incredible um, getting to be able to produce like a sci-fi drama featuring Latinx, Chicano, indigenous folks and to be shooting it in Sacramento where I was born and raised is beautiful. So I feel really excited. To me, I think it's specifically important to have Latinx, indigenous and gender fluid people in science fiction because it's important that we imagine futures where we not only exist, but we thrive and we survive and we lead the way, you know, where we can be kind of heroes or leaders. And this film will be shot in spring of 2022 and could be released in early 2023. Deirdre and Teo, back to you. All right, Leticia, thank you. 642 now, and he's more than just the mayor of Flavortown. Uh, Guy Fieri is now the top paid top chef. How much dough is getting in his new contract?
Well, starting today, airports are going to be bustling as people head out of town to kick off the unofficial start to summer. So if you're taking a road trip, you could have some company when you hit the road. KCRE 3's Tony Valliere has more on what to know before you go. Well, whether by air, by sea or by land, Americans are taking back travel thanks to more vaccinations and fewer restrictions. People in the industry say travel is in for a big rebound, which makes sense considering what this past year has been like this Memorial Day weekend, you're going to start to see something that is unlike anything we've ever seen. When things are taken away from you, you want it more. What was taken away from us? Traveling and connecting with other people. But it might cost you. AAA says Memorial Day travelers will pay the highest gas prices for the holiday since 2014. And the nation's major airlines say airfare costs are near or even above pre-pandemic levels. You still need to wear your mask, and the FAA says it's gotten 1,900 reports of passengers violating the mask requirement. Meanwhile, the CDC gave Royal Caribbean approval to start testing cruises in U.S. waters. The ship called Freedom of the Seas will be allowed to sail with volunteer passengers next month. Passengers are not required to be vaccinated, but they must have documentation from a health care provider or self-certify that they are not at a heightened risk for COVID-19. Back to you, Teo. All right, thank you so much. Well, new this morning, a blockbuster deal out of Hollywood to tell you about. Just learning about this, Amazon has announced that it is buying MGM. Online shopping giant will pay eight and a half billion for the movie and TV studio, which will boost its Amazon Prime streaming service. I bet if you took a poll, would mm -hmm. you like to most have a beer with a celebrity? But some people oh, would pick Guy Fieri. Without a doubt. Yeah, well, the beer's on him because he <laughs> is now the highest paid celebrity chef, maybe ever. <laughs> Diners, drive-ins, and dives star signed a contract with the Food Network. It is worth $80 million over the next three years. That's $50 million more than his previous deal. Deals unusual because Discovery Channel generally caps the salaries of its stars at seven figures. Fieri has run, has had several restaurants here in the Sacramento area. Remember Johnny Garlic's? That mm -hmm. was one of them. And currently runs Flavor Town Kitchen here in the Sacramento area. It's a delivery only restaurant.